Today, we're teaching you classic corned beef. Corned beef is one of my favorites. The term corned actually is derived from necessity. Back in the day when they didn't have refrigeration, they used to crust beef with salt. The little salt kernels that were around the beef uh, resembled corn, so that's where the term corned beef came from. Today, we use more of a brine, and we're gonna show you all the things we can do with corned beef. All right, when you're out shopping for your corned beef, you might see a variety of cuts. You might see a brisket flat, you might see a bottom round flat. I chose brisket. Brisket does really great with a long, slow cooking method. We're gonna use our Dutch oven with a little bit of moisture to cook it nice and slow. We don't wanna boil it. We want it to come out just perfect. We're gonna talk a little bit about equipment here. Um, you can save a lot of time on this recipe if you use an Instapot or a pressure cooker. That'll cut down the cooking time a lot. If you have a stock pot at home with a lid, that'll also work. We're gonna go ahead and use uh, my Dutch oven here, which I happen to have a perfectly fitting steamer basket so we can steam our vegetables with the liquid from the meat. This is gonna be the same end result. Everything is gonna be delicious. We have a brisket here that we're gonna open it, we're gonna drain off the meat. We may find a seasoning packet in here, we may not. If we do not find one, I have one we're gonna make for us. So let's get right in it. We're gonna open this up, make sure we use gloves. I don't like the liquid in here, so we're gonna drain it off. Oh, this one does. See, we have a little seasoning packet, but we're gonna go ahead and make this anyway. The seasoning packets usually have coriander, some crushed bay leaves, some cracked black pepper, and a couple different kinds of mustard seeds. So we have that in there. We're gonna go ahead and throw our brisket in the Dutch oven, just like that. Okay, we wanna cook with the fat side up if possible. We're gonna go ahead and add our three cups of water versus our recipe. My oven's at 350. We're gonna go ahead and pop this in. It's gonna take about two and a half to three hours until it's fork tender. Brisket needs to go to at least an internal temperature of 200 degrees to really be tender and juicy. So if you're a thermometer person, you can use your oven proof thermometer in this thing to give you an accurate temperature. If not, we're just gonna, we're gonna check in about two and a half, three hours. We have our corned beef fresh out of the oven in our Dutch oven. Woo! That aroma is amazing. Our seasoning packet is terrific. The meat's been in there for about three hours. Looks done to me. We're gonna go ahead and check it. And we're gonna pull it out. Oh yeah, it's, it's tender. Look at that. A little trick that somebody taught me, when the, uh, when the fat is nice and tender, that's when the meat is cooked. Very important to let this meat rest, even if it is a braise. So we're gonna, we're gonna put it in our pot here. I have a piece of foil, we're gonna cover it to keep it warm. All right, now for the vegetables. We have our potatoes and our carrots and our cabbage ready to go. We have our meat resting. We're just gonna add a little bit of water to our braising liquid. Ooh, every time I take the lid off, it smells terrific. Bringing that to a simmer. I have my steamer basket here, which we're just gonna load these vegetables in um, all together. Pretty rustic looking. And then while that's simmering, we're just gonna let this steam away. All right, now we have our vegetables plated. We're gonna go ahead and make our glaze. We're gonna keep the liquid, our braising liquid at a nice simmer. I got some butter going in there. I got a little salt, a little pepper. I wanted to add a little bit of greenery in there, so we have some green onions, a little bit of uh, Italian parsley. We're just gonna let that butter melt, give it a little stir, and then we get a nice glaze for our vegetables. And then we're gonna go ahead and slice the meat. Nice little glaze. Make sure all that juice gets on there. Now let's get the meat. Really important here to go against the grain. Should be pretty easy to tell you. Oh, look at how nice and tender that is. Look at how juicy it is. And we're gonna slice this. And then we're gonna go ahead and plate it up. Looking good. Beautiful. And there's classic corned beef. Really simple recipe. Delicious. Let's dig in. Corned beef is a very versatile ingredient. Here we have some menu inspirations if you're lucky enough to have any leftovers. Corned beef and hash, my favorite, classic Reuben. 
both really tasty, really simple recipes. If you like the content on this video, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're looking for more simple and tasty recipes, go to beefitswhatsfordinner.com. There's a lot of great ideas there. We'll see you later.